So the first thing you are going to do is to buy domain and hosting. And we are going to use Namecheap. If you want to buy domain and hosting from Namecheap, click on hosting. Under this place, we have shared hosting. And this is Namecheap hosting plans. So before you choose, make sure you choose your billing cycle. If you want to be paying monthly, yearly, or two years, just choose your billing cycle. Each billing cycle has different prices. So if you want to buy for a month, you are going to pay four points for the eight dollar per month. And if you want to buy for a year, you are going to pay one point and eight dollar per month. But you are going to receive discount of fifty six percent discount for the first year. So first year you are going to pay twenty two point eight eight dollar. If you want to renew it for the second year, you are going to pay forty four point eight eight dollar. So after checking all the plans, just choose the one you want to purchase and click on get started. Second one is to connect your domain. If you want to buy domain, click on new domain. But if you want to link your existing domain, you click on existing domain name. So click on new domain. So let's buy new domain. So when you choose new domain name, so under this page, you're going to search for the domain name you want to buy. So type the domain name you want to register with. So this is the domain. So scroll down and click on connect to hosting. So this is the total payment for domain and hosting. And the domain name is $10.46 per year. While the hosting is $22.88. And the hosting is for yearly payments. You can also choose for monthly payments. So after that, click on add to cart. So another thing is just click on confirm order. So if you have an existing account with Namecheap, you enter your username and password. But if you don't have existing account, create an account. So the first thing is to enter your username, password, to confirm the password, to add the, your first name, your last name, to add your email address. Make sure you put valid email address. So after that, because you're going to receive your cPanel detail, so make sure you use valid email address. After that, scroll down and click on create and continue. So you're going to add your payment detail. So the first one is to add your card name. So the first one to, is to add your card name. So after adding your card name, you add the card number. So you add the card expiring date and you add the CVC code. Just turn the back of your card, you will see three digit number. Add it under CVC. So, under this place, you are going to add your first name. You add your last name. If you are registering on, on behalf of a company, just click on this. I am registering on behalf of a company. If not, go to address. So after that, you type your city, type your state, so then type your zip code. So after that, scroll down again, choose your country. So then scroll down, click on continue. Make sure you review your order. Then scroll down. Under the terms and agreement, click on it and then click on pay now. So wait for them to process the order. You can see other successful. So this is how to buy domain and hosting from them cheap. After registration, you're going to see email. Just check your mailbox. So you will see this immediate verification required for your domain. Open the mail. Scroll down. Click on this link or this to first verify your domain so after that go back so you're also going to see your hosting account detail for your domain name so open your open the email so scroll down you're going to see your cpanel details so we're going to use this cpanel details to log into our hosting account so if you want to log into your cpanel just use this url or this to log into your cpanel so you are also going to use your cPanel username and password to access your hosting. 
So first copy your username. So add your username first. Copy your password. Add your password. So after that, click on login. So this is Nameship T panel, and we have this our domain name as the primary domain. So what we are going to do now is to create database and install the PHP script. So before we do that, let's go to let's check our file manager. So if you open your file manager, so go to this public underscore HTML. This is where you upload the script. The default file manager folder for any domain registered with hosting is public underscore HTML. So before we upload our script, we are going to first create database. So go to cPanel, look for database. So we have these databases. So if you want to create database, go to my SQL databases, click on it. So the first thing to do is to add your database name. So let's use blog 24. So when you are done, click on create. So click on go back. So we are also going to create user. So another thing you are going to do is to create user. So to create user, still add the database name. So you can see we are still using block 24. So under this place, you create password. If you want to create password, you can use password generator to create your password. So click on password generator. Copy this first password. So open notepad and save this your password. Or you can as well save it anywhere you like. So let me just save it here. After that, click on I have copied the password in a safe place. Click on use. So then create create user. So click on go back. So another thing we are going to do is to assign our database and username together. So if you want to assign them together, just go to add user to database. You can see we have this as the user and we have this as the database. Just click on add. So after that, click on all privileges and click on make changes. So also copy this database and username because we are also going to make use of it. Just open Notepad or MS Word to paste all these important things. So let me also add it here. So we are going to upload our PHP script and install the script. So go back to cPanel. So go to file manager. So we have this public underscore HTML. So before you upload your script, go to setting first. Make sure you should show hidden files and click on save. So if you want to upload your file, click on upload. So under here, click on select file. So this is the scripts we are going to use. So select the scripts you want to upload and click on open file. complete so click on go to home so this is the script we are going to extract this file so if you want to extract the file just select the file click on extract click on extract file so click on close so you can as well delete this this one so open this folder so move all these files into this public underscore html so to do that click on select all so you can see move we have move here click on move so delete this folder name so make sure you are moving it to public underscore html so then click on move files so you can see we have all the files inside public underscore html you can as well delete this folder this is an empty folder click on delete so we are going to install the script now. If you want to install the script, just copy the name of your site. Put another tab. Just add it to visit as if you want to visit your site. So this is the script we are going to use. So click on install. So under this place, we are going to add the license key. So after adding the license key, click on next. Click on next. So make sure you, you have all these things checked. 
also click on next so we are going to add the database name username and password so this is the database name and this database name and username they are the same so just copy your database name first add it under this database name so username is the same so this is the password just copy your password add it here so after that click on next so after that this is our search url so we are going to select time zone just select your time zone so my time zone is africa slash lagos so you are going to write your username you are also going to put your email so yeah you are going to choose your password so after that click on finish so this is the site so this is just the home page so if you want to log into your site click on login add your email post then add your password click on login you can save your password if you want so if you want to go to your admin dashboard just click on this place you can see admin panel so click on admin panel so this is how to access your cpanel and install your script we're going to add logo and some other things if you want to change your site logo and favicon click on general settings so under this place you change the name of your site i have nas blog so this is the footer for for about so yeah you add the about section so after that you change the copyright to 2024 nas blog so the next one is logo you want to change your logo and favicon this is where you change your logo so we are going to upload the first logo second favicon and the email logo footer logo which is the white color so click on choose logo so this is the first logo i have so this is the second one click on choose logo you also have this logo as well and this is the white logo so we have the favicon change favicon so this is the favicon so click on save so you can see this is the new logo and favicons so we are going to add facebook comments so if you want to add facebook comments enable it click on save So I have this uh, Facebook comment plugin. So this is where you generate your code. So you can just put like number of posts. Let's make it 10. That is number of comments to display. So after that, scroll down. So you are going to see the sample. So this is it. So click on get code. So you are going to copy this code. Just copy this code. Go back to your site. Go to this custom header add the code click on save so let's just check the home page so this is the home page you can see we have our logo this also change this copyright to 2024 so if you want to make a post before you make a post you need to create a category just click on categories under this place you click on add category so yeah you, you add the category name i have news you can leave this one empty so under this place you add the meta description for search engine so we have a meta keyword so you can also choose the text color here so let's make it let's leave it as default color black so yeah you choose the home page display so if you don't want it to show on the home page you can as well disable it but if you want this to show on on home page just leave it and choose the home page display so let's take this one 
so and click on add category so let's check the home page so if you check the home page you can see we have news here if we make any post under this news it will display under here and even if you check the menu you can see we have news here as well and this is the home so let's go back so let's just create one more category if you want to create another one just click on this categories add category let's add another one health also add the description health updates and health so the color let's leave it like that and the home page design let's use this default one then click on add category so let's check the home page again so we have this and this so let's arrange this navigation so if you want to ar arrange the navigation go to navigation so you can see we have home this and this and this so you can just drag it up and drag this one up so let's check it again you can see we have home news health and gallery so we are going to add a post so let's add normal post if you want to add a post click on add post so this is what you can do with this script you can add article gallery sorted list video audio quiz quiz and poll so it depends on what you want to do so if you want to add an article post click on article if you want to add a post the first thing is to add the title so under this place you add the summary you can use part of the content as a summary so here we have tag so under this place you just choose if you want this to be as a featured image breaking news on slide recommended so after that you you add the tag so this way we are going to add the content of the article so let's add the content so you add your content here so another one is to upload the image so here you select the image click on browse file so select the image you want to use and click on open after uploading you select the image click on select image you can see we have the image here you now add your image description if you want to add more images you click on additional images if you also want to upload file you upload file so another thing is to select category so let's post it under news so after that click on submit so let's check the home page so this is the home page you can see we have this as the first article so under this news you can see we have it under this news category so under this latest post you can see we have this one you have this and we also have it as a recommended post and this is the footer so we are going to use rss feed to complete all the whole posts so rss feed is used to get articles from external sites so if you want to add rss feed just click on rss feed so yeah we are going to import rss feed so click on import rss feed so we are going to take from punch so this is the punch newspaper site if you want to get the rss feed url add slash feed click on enter so you can see it will generate the rss url just copy it under this feed url just add it another thing is to sh to to show the number of posts you want to import let's import 10 so under this page you choose the category let's add it under news so we don't have anything like sub category so after that you click on import rss feed so we are going to add another one under health so we are also going to use punch that is punch health wise if you want to get the rss feed url just put slash feed click on enter to generate the url so you can see this is the feed url just copy it so under this place you add it let's use point health so you add the feed url 
so the number of posts let's make it 10 category let's post it under health so after that click on import rss so let's check our home page just visit the home page so this is our home page and this is what we have so you can see we have this news they are all from punch we also have this they are all from punch head news so you can see we have a full website a full blog now so you can see we have it so just click on one post so this is the blog side you can see we also have sticky bar so this is it at the end you will see punch if you click on read more it will take you to the original source so if you hover you can see we also have mega menu, mega menu here this is it and this is it so we are going to fix this so let us have more under this slide so if you want to add something on that slide just go to post under this post so you can see the list of posts under it so just select so after that click on how to slide so let's check the home page again so this is the slide and here is the featured image or featured post so let's add under this featured post so let's select it again so go down you will see add to featured add to featured add to breaking add to recommended so let's add to the to featured So we can see we have all these plays filled up with posts. So let's just scroll down. So you can see we have just done this kind of site in less than 30 minutes. So this is how to make a post using this script. So another one we have is app. So I'm also going to show you how you can also design mobile app using this design script for your blog. So if you want to know more about this script, how to make some other settings and changes, so there is a link under this post. Just click on the link so that you can have full access to the script as well and learn more on how to configure this, this script. So in the next part, we are going to design mobile app for the site. So yeah, we are going to create a, an app for the site. So if you want to create your app, so the first thing to do is log into your site. So scroll down to settings. So under these preferences, under these preferences, turn on this, enable this progressive web app. So I'll click on save. So we are going to upload the file for the progressive web app. So login back to your C panel. So click on login to access your C panel. So after logging into your C panel, so go to file manager. So open your public underscore html so we are going to upload the progressive web app file so click on upload select file so under the script this is the progressive web app so select it and click on open so upload complete so go back to public underscore html so this is the file we are going to extract this file so click on extract to extract the file so we have this manifest.json and this so we are going to edit this one 
just click on edit so under this place we are going to change the app name so we change this name we change description and change the app short name so we are still going to change this app images with our own site image so we are also going to change this start url and the url as well so let's start with the url first so copy your site url so under this start url replace it with your own with your own site url so we also have this one so after that click on save so we're going to change this this name here so delete this so let's add something like learn with nas so you're also going to delete the description and add your own description let's put news news bank so make sure you, you write your own description so under this short name we're going to also add learn with nas so after that click on this and save so what we're going to do now is to change this image images so we're going to use this change this one and this one so but if you want to change it you go to assets so inside the asset folder you can change your images so go back to file manager so go to assets so we're going to locate this image folder so we have this image folder and we have this progressive web application folder so if you view this so this is the image so we are going to edit our favicon image with this number as png so for you to do that open a paint so we are going to open a paint this is paint so and this is the favicon so we are going to resize it we are going to change the name to the actual size so the first thing we are going to do is to resize all the old images so let's get the first size the first size is 140 times 140 dot png so when you open the your paint click on resize make sure it is pixels make it 144 times 144 so click on okay so this is the first size so save it as png and let's use this name one four one four four times one four four dot png and click on save so we are going to decide this one to one nine two times one nine two so make it pixels one nine two times one nine two so click on so click on ok so save it as png so we have 192 times 192 so we are going to re recite this image to the same 512 512 times 512 and click on ok so after that save it as png so and click on save so go back to your file manager so we are going to delete all these ones just highlight them click on delete so click on upload to upload your own image so click on select so we have this this and this so upload them one after the other then click on go go to home page so these are the images 
we have this this and this so we are still going to do one small thing so go back to this manifest.json so you are going to change this url so just copy your site url so remove this domain.com so make sure you have your site name instead of domain.com then click on save changes so we have finished setting up progressive web app so yeah we are going to install the app if you are using iphone or android phone so open your browser so when you open your browser type your site url so click on enter so you will see this pop-up asking you to install so if you click on install it will now install the app so if you don't even see this pop-up so click on this dot so go down you will see install app so just click on install app to install your app so click on install so let's let's check the phone home page so you can see under this app this is the app so click on the app to open so you can see we have our app so you can use this app to view to read articles so you can see you can also change the the background so this is how to design your blog site